Hello and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM and I'm going to do things a little differently this time. I'm going to actually go to the, back to the gray market, sell off some of these corpses. Uh, not the floaters though because there's plenty of those. Actually, you know what? I don't, no, I don't need sectoids. I'm going to sell off the thin men because we can basically swim in, X, in uh, thin men corpses. And I think I might sell off like these down to 5-5 five, five, because I don't need this many of the of, uh, flight computers and power sources I think we'll do 6 and then 5 we'll do 5-5 five, five. yeah that sounds good we're gonna get a lot of money now what am I gonna use this money for for one we're gonna do Cobra operations and do an Intel scan for 50 money uh, we will see if we can find a uh, exalt cell Intel scan complete. We got we're one in China. Several contacts at the moment, but we may need to run a diagnostic. So we're going to send the covert like op. Target. Uh, who's our covert operation guy, or girl actually? Wasn't it like, who was it? Wasn't it that Asian girl, Sakamoto? Let's just scroll through here until we find her. It was that Asian girl. Yeah, I think it was her. Missions one. Uh, she has good aim. Yeah, that's gonna be her. Right. I feel bad for thinking about this. Yeah, yeah, my Russian is my support. So yeah, she's my Japanese support that I will never use probably. So she, yeah, she will go on the covert operation. Covert operative deployed okay, to disrupt exalt cell in. What China. else are we gonna do? We're going to go to the foundry. And we're going to research, or we're going to get tactical rigging. Uh, basically, this will give us uh, a second item into battle. So I'm going to begin this project. Now I'm also going to do. Um, I'll uh, send word to the foundry crews now. I kind of want to go do this rapid recovery. I'm not going to worry about it for the moment, actually. We're going to keep this money because once this, uh, how long is it going to be for that to finish? Seven days. Once that's done, I'm going to buy a little present for myself. I guess it'll be in the next video, though. When is my council mission? Or when is my council report? Seven days. Oh. Yikes. All right, we'll scan for activity because the satellite's fixing to be done. Commander. Our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready so to I'm deploy it on your orders. Go ahead and build another one. Start building another satellite. Look at the situation room here. We got uh, South Africa and Nigeria are basically gone. So I'm just going to kind of have to let them go. Um, I'm not really worried about saving them. <laughs> it sounds awful, but... Oh, I could put two satellites, though. And that would both save them and give me the all-in bonus, which would give me more money. Sounds worth it, but I kind of want to wait till one of these other... Uh, how much money does that give me? A hundred and a hundred. Whoa, that's a lot. I think actually I might do that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Sounds crazy, but more money per turn and... Or more money per month like times two yeah we're gonna do that plus I already have an interceptor there because of that so I think yeah we're gonna save Africa things are relatively quiet for the moment guess we should enjoy it while it lasts I'm gonna launch two satellites now I have 30% more XCOM funding along with like 200 extra money almost 250 in fact wow okay Looking good. <clears throat> but just in case, I, I'm going to build a power generator here. Right? Right? Is that is that a good idea? Can I do the Illyrium generator? Oh, I can. It's going to give me 30 power. Jeez. But it costs almost all my money to do. I'm just going to do a power generator for now.
and we're going to excavate. Okay. Um, this is looking good. I'm going to put another satellite uplink there pretty soon. Or if, uh, better yet, satellite nexus would be good. Now we are going to uh, scan for activity again. Alright, check it out. Genetics lab is complete. Genetics lab facilities operational. So now we can send some guys into the genetics lab. Commander, the genetics lab is now prepped and fully stopped. We can begin genetic modification of our soldiers on your order. Interesting. This facility will be the nerve center of our genetic modification Who should program. we put in here? Our soldiers will receive entirely new capabilities, making them more effective on the battlefields than ever before. As we improve our understanding of alien I need, genetics, I need these the range two. of available modifications will I might expand. actually put Penna in there and put make the him like substance that would make sense since he is the whole <laughs> in advancing our theories on genetic modification. Yeah, so let's put far, him in there. We've been limited to the augmentation of existing this is awesome. human organs. With the latest autopsy results, we now have wow. the option of incorporating alien physiology right, into our genetic human leg programs. Which will give it him the ability to like jump on the rooftops. They would be even more or we can give him adaptive bone, bone marrow. Wound recovery time is reduced by 66%. Regen regenerates 2 HP per turn up to the max. Without armor. Interesting. That is crazy cool that he can jump on the roof though. Um, I'm not... Oh, that could save your life though. What else we got? Mimetic skin. Oh, that takes a lot of metal. Jesus. Protects an electric field from his or her skin, revealing but not alerting nearby enemies. What does that one do again? Yeah. Yeah, that was the one that turns them invisible. That's really good. Okay, what else do we have? Whenever a kill is confirmed, they emit pheromones that grant offensive benefits. Wow. Bleed out instead of dying. Plus 10 aim after a miss. Yeah, we're going to do that one for sure. What else are we going to put on this bad boy? I'm tempted to put on... Oh, wow. That could... It's a hard choice. You can't... You can only pick one. You can't have both of them. So we're definitely going to do hyper-reactive. Um... Whenever he gets a kill. If I did second heartbeat. That would uh. Or second heart sorry. Second heartbeat. <laughs> second heart would give him the ability to not die. Which would kind of get rid of this. It would kind of not really give this any meaning. This is also really cool. But I might put that on my um. Oh, it's a hard decision. It's really, it's actually kind of a hard decision here. Um, nearby squad mates. Oh, man. I think we're going to do this and this. That way he can jump like super high. That That's so cool. The only point of this is negated almost by this. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. I like this better. I like this better. Let's do this. Let's do it. Sorry it took me so long to figure it out. 150 and 45. Our this guy's going to be a genetic monster. Surgical prep immediately. It's going to take nine Once days the genetic for him. Modification is complete, I will notify you. Okay. Um. All right. Commander, Let's do this. We picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. All right, so we can get engineers. Man, more decisions here. Um, I can get an assault captain, which I don't need at all. I need to save Brazil, though. 
I think it's pretty much... Yeah, this is pretty much the only decision. Let's go to Man Menaeus. Okay, so... Let's clear things out for a second here. We got our three main guys here. Make items available. Yes, she is back. Rhino, she is back to get some... Uh, to destroy everything, basically. So you're going to get Carapace. You're going to get your Nano Fiber Vest. Yeah, she's ready to go. I miss her. Meanwhile, um, I have no heavies, so we're gonna put the uh, we're gonna put Zhang for now, and we're going to put the new guy that kind of sucks. We're gonna get the carapace. Do I have Carapace on everybody? I feel like an idiot. Okay, Carapace, Carapace. He's got that. Alright, he'll put Carapace on you. Alright, so everyone's kind of... Kind of ready to go. Got my two heavies with grenades. The mech with nothing. Sniper. Support and assault. Yeah, we're ready to go. Let's do this. I think it said it was like a... Well, like a medium mission. Down. So it shouldn't be too difficult. Final Brazilian fall. authorities have requested our help, so that's where we're going next. Ooh, we're going to Brazil. We've World gotten Cup. several reports indicating we're that the aliens the have stepped Cup, up basically. the number of attempted abductions. Well, the World we'll Cup have to move quickly over. if we want to slow the spread of now. panic. Uh, well, I guess it wouldn't really matter. Uh, Germany just won the World Cup, at least yesterday, at the recording of this video. So, I feel that the aliens invaded a day late, or maybe they didn't like the result. They wanted the uh, Argentina to win, so they invaded Brazil. <laughs> Whoa! This is really cool. Copy that, Big Sky. Oh, I love rain. I love raining targets. missions. Watch your backs out there, people. This is awesome. Okay. Well, first things first, Heading Mech is going to move up. This is so cool! I love this! <laughs> Alright, we're going to put one for all on you. Cover position here. Because that'd be a, a great spot for you. Oh, she can't move. Who was I looking at that could have made it over there? Oh, my support. And my sniper. We'll hold dash you up. He's gonna, I guess, hang back. I'll put my sniper on this side. The battle scanner. Uh, I might as well throw it. Because why not? Alright, so, oh, we got milled on the right side. This is such a cool mission. It's like a flooded, rainy street. And I feel that this is just like one of those, yeah, this is one of those maps where it's just a straightforward, just, we're just gonna go straight all the way, so. I kind of like these maps. They're kind of, just wait, like, right to the point, you know. Running. So we're gonna kind of move up a little faster now that we don't see any I'm gonna get to that meld as fast as possible. Overwatch and you are gonna get right on this trash can. Oh, the thing! He's moving! The uh, green guy. <laughs> That's terrifying. Position confirmed. Alright, move up. Oh. Whoa. We have... Oh, okay. We have a Seeker. Let's get the jump on him. Damn. Damn straight. Took out the Seeker before he could even see me. And with that, I'm ready to move our guys up. A 
See, there's the other seeker. Somehow it does not see me. That is really strange. Yes, sir. Okay, so I have sight on it. Oh, I can't get the shot. Okay. Fair enough. I'm gonna kind of clump together, just so the seeker doesn't get any bright ideas. I also have squad sight. I could actually shoot him. That would be a bad idea, though. So let's. Actually, I could. I can't shoot him. Interesting. I guess you can only shoot him with a sniper. He's gonna go stealth. And he's going to unstealth in the same exact spot. <laughs> Ooh, right in the head too. Weird. What is he doing? What is he <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, these seekers are flipping. Br these these seekers are freaking the fuck out. Let's just go ahead and end his misery. He doesn't know what he's doing. Go ahead and snipe him. Yeah, that seeker was just I don't know. He was glitching out or something. So we can go ahead and take the L. Very good. Very good. Continue Heading to move to up, location. folks. And reload. Ready to engage hostile targets. Yeah, I almost feel bad for the aliens, because they seem to just... I just, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm getting the jump on them almost every time. It's moving slow and steady that wins the race. I really don't like that she can't move very far. That's really kind of annoying. So we're going to kind of stagger our guys out. Uh, we're going to actually overwatch on you too. Everyone's going to overwatch. Because they do not know what's going to come. He could almost borderline to stay there. Such a good sniping spot. Yeah, you're gonna stay there. You're gonna continue to move up, Moving kind of position. move up the middle here. Enemies oh, hello. Oh wow. Hello there, we got some sectoids, we got some mutons. This has to be pretty much all they have left. Oh, and those guys are just gonna run away apparently. First things first, let's see what our sniper can do. Our sniper can get a shot. Not really. Not really thrilled with that. How about this rocket? Oh, oh, hello. Hello, oh, come on. There we go. Let's, let's move this angle here. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's looking good. I like that. Destroys their cover. You better not miss Zang. I swear, I swear, Zang. Hey, there we go, buddy. Boom! He's destroyed. He's mad. That was a good shot. Okay. Um, I rather enjoyed that shot. What else can we do? Oh, now he can't hit the target. Very strange. Very strange. Alright, I'm feeling pretty confident that this guy's going down. I still can't get a shot off on him. That's very weird. That's a 91% chance. I'm pretty happy with that. That should be <coughs> a guaranteed kill, pretty much. You 76% chance to do 2 damage. To do up to two damage, 72% chance to do guaranteed two damage. Or I could actually flush, 100% chance to hit him. Let's do that, actually. 
Oh, he tried to run, but he glitched through the camera, and that is never a good sign. <laughs> you know you're screwed when you're glitching through the camera. So that uh, that worked out. Uh, that worked out good. Clack clack bang. Overwatch, Overwatch. These tech toys are dead because these are like two of my best shooters right here in Overwatch. If they move, if they even try to do anything, they're so dead. Here we go. Take that over one shot. Oh, yes. Two damage. That is like the two damage curse here. She always does two damage every time. Oh, ouch. Four damage is taken. Now, this guy right here is dead. <laughs> I just completely called it. I know this, this guy has such a good aim. He does not miss. Alright, so you need to go get healed, you little pansy. Running. That's the new guy too. Oh, that new guy's not really doing me proud. Alright, he's buying heavy cover. This is gonna be tough to hit. If anyone can hit it though, she can. But she doesn't need any kills. Does she? Nah, not really. But there's not really anyone else to take the shot, so... I mean, there's always the sniper. Okay, go ahead. I will authorize the shot. My goodness, we could have just... Uh... <laughs> Whoa! We could have just cancelled that one, man. We should have cancelled our subscription to that shot. Man, goodness. That was awful. 52% chance. That's not much better. So let's just overkill this thing. What do you guys think? Yeah, overkill time. Goodbye. Now that thing's on fire. And you're going to get your heal. Which is going to be up to 8 health. See, that's fantastic. My medic can heal like crazy. You need to move up. I'm ready to move. Yeah, Zang, you need to get into the action here, buddy. Stop dicking around over there. Overwatch. If anything moves behind this car, they're dead. Oh! Oh, come on, Leroy. This is going to be a sick shot. Oh, it's looking off. Yeah. Damn it. You can kind of look at the angle of the gun compared to the, you know, where they're at. Kind of guess if they're going to hit or not. He's going to get another shot off. Or not. He's going to take cover behind. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Okay, hello. I was hoping one of them would get behind the car and blow themselves up. Okay, so the battle for the meld continues. <laughs> um, interesting. Let's go ahead and... Oh, he's, see, he's smart because he knows that if I destroy my own meld, that is not good. You're going to go ahead and take your shot. Or not. Jeez, you want to you wanna try again with that? <laughs> so he has absolutely, like, like... Zero aim, basically. So I might as well throw the grenade here. Catch. That's all he can really do. Everyone's behind heavy cover. That is a shame. The only one that's not behind heavy cover, though, is this bad boy that's about to get sniped out of the sky, honestly. Oh, we should wait. Someone else should get some kills. It can't always be him. Come on. Oh, there's an Overwatch. I for almost forgot about that Overwatch. So what does that mean? That means that she is going to kind of uh, do this thing I like to call draw the Overwatch. <laughs> I 
I'm almost tempted to just take that cover. Yeah, we're gonna run and gun. Ooh, I realize she doesn't have any ammo. Oh well. She's strong. She can handle it. So he's gonna draw the Overwatch. She's gonna draw the Overwatch. That's a uh, guaranteed miss because of lightning reflexes. I have just unveiled another alien. I didn't. I forgot about that guy. Oh god. Okay. Well, this guy is pretty much dead. Oh, I don't want to use the pistol. Well, let's see what else we can do. Heading to that location. This guy's guaranteed dead. That guy's guaranteed dead. This grenade can't really hit. Unless I launch it on top of the van. Is that even possible? Yeah, they're up in the sky. That's a, that's a annoying. Okay. Um, well, take out at least one of them. Probably the one in the back. There we go. I knew I could count on you. Alright, so that one's dead. Alright, what else we got? We got homeboy over here. Okay, take this guaranteed kill here. You're dead. And you are going to basically knock him out of the sky. He's dead. Oh, one damage. Are you one damage away? Well, you know what? I guess it was meant to be 100% chance. Get out of here, boy. He is dead and... Well, well, damn. Well, damn, Zhang, I forgot you were still in my squad. <laughs> maybe, just maybe, you can get a kill here. Let's see what you can do. You have a great opportunity here. There we go. And we'll get Zhang now. That should be the end of that mission. That was a... Ex that's a... That was just an execution. That was a firing squad on a bunch of prisoners, basically. Those aliens were wiped clean. We call us Mr. Clean with our scrubbing bubbles of alien cleansing. That was a, a good mission. Uh, it was kind of like a confidence boost for my guys. They just kind of ran through there and just took all their names. It looks like they're really taking care of business down oh, there. Oh yeah, they are, and Dr. Shin. so much as a scratch. Oh yeah, they... <laughs> well, you know, except for that one guy that got shot. But, you know, we're just going to forget that happened. And we get a bunch of stuff. 20 meld. Fantastic. What a good mission. We will be in touch, Commander. Wonderful. Okay. Well, that was going to be... Uh, well, let's see, let's, let's see what we can do around the house real quick. Japan and India. Mmm. We're going to lose those. I guess I'm going to lose my uh, dream of getting Asia on our side. But maybe with this extra money, it won't really matter. He's still in the, the oven, basically. Okay, things are looking pretty good. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Look at Mission Control. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Wow, look at all the stuff that's coming up. Okay. Well, uh, it looks like in the next video, we will do this covert operation. Satellite should be... Uh, satellite coverage should be done, power generator will be done, and a council report. Once this is done, we're going to use the extra money for the council report to get a ghost grenade, maybe even do ammo conservation, and see where we go from there. Uh, so thanks as always for watching, and I will see you guys next time on XCOM. We will continue on. Like I said, I'm going to focus more on this game over the next few weeks. Prepare to see a lot of XCOM videos. So I will see you guys later. Have a good day.